Hey everyone, I'm Kat Pengeli, Community and Engagement Manager for Lean Agile Global 2021. In the lead up to the live virtual conference that will be taking place this year on 24th and 25th May, I will be taking the time to introduce you to some of the fantastic speakers in our lineup. Today, I'm delighted to introduce you to Carmen, Agile Master Expertise uh, Owner of the Agile Transformation at Business Unit for Robert Bosch Power Tools, and Johan, Project Manager of the Agile Transformation for Robert Bosch Power Tools. Welcome both. I'm delighted to have you here. Thank you very much, Kat. Hi, everybody. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Hi, this is from Johan. Thanks, Kat, for hosting us. We are looking forward to the conversation. Awesome. I'm looking forward to it as well. Um, to get started, um, hopefully a fairly simple question for you, but some people have found it quite difficult. Um, how would you describe yourself in a single tweet? And Carmen, if it's all right, maybe I'll go with you first. So thank you very much, Katia. And it is really very difficult. And I uh, think in a single tweet, I would say um, I'm somebody who is curious and uh, takes care of really this lifelong learning. And I will not stop it. Oh, lovely. I love lifelong learning because I think that's really important. You know, learning never stops. There's always something, there's always something to grow and develop and continue learning. So I love that. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Uh, amazing. And uh, Johan, how about for yourself? A uh, tweet is short. So I try with an agile enthusiast that challenges the status quo and thinks in solutions. Oh, I like that. Thinks and solutions. That is one I haven't heard before. I know that it's, you know, a, a very um, interesting concept for the Agile community, but I haven't heard anyone say it that way before. So I really like that. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Um, so in your opinion, why do you think people should come and join us virtually at the conference this year? Uh, Johan, I'll give you the chance to go first this time. Yeah, I mean, uh, I've been at the conference already also last year. I can only say it's a fantastic conference with a very diverse lineup of speakers, very well organized. Um, and it's it's really a, an event to be engaged with other people and curious to find out new things that brought in your horizon. Yeah, amazing. I love the word curious there because, you know, we have people from all around the world, all walks of the agile life. And it's great to come in with a curious attitude because there's so many different people that you can, you know, learn and engage with. So that's wonderful. Amazing. And um, Carmen, how about for you? So it is difficult for me to add something because nearly everything you said, I also like to be honest, or I would uh, recommend to join this meeting because you have the chance to learn people over all the world. This is so easy. And this is really what makes uh, your life more rich than it was uh, before, because you learn different points of view. You, you really can live this diversity. And this is also something I really like and I just can recommend, come and listen. Oh, amazing. Thank you. And, you know, speaking to diversity, one of our main goals, not only this year, but a big focus for this year is to create a truly diverse and inclusive conference. Um, and I'd love to know just a little bit of what that means for the two of you. Um, Carmen, if you'd like to go first. The diverse, as I said, uh, different people from really different countries, but also very different points of view, very different ways to implement um, approaches or to, to think about uh, certain things or to, to start with different uh, things. So for me, it is really, uh, this is diversity, it is overall. Yeah, amazing, amazing. And uh, uh, Johan, anything to add to that? I think I uh, just would like to add, I mean, when you speak about diversity, inclusiveness, that means also a lot of different perspectives come to mind, different yeah opinions so i think we should also not forget to to respect each other and listen to each other and then we can learn a lot from each other i think that's what i would add to it yes wonderful and i completely agree you know i think the word respect is very important when we're talking about diversity and inclusion and um, as i've mentioned to a couple of, of speakers before on these calls is um, in our code of conduct the first line says don't be a jerk um, you know, <laughs> and it's, it's really about ensuring that we have a safe space to respect each other's ideas and, and, you know, that's something really important. So we hope that everyone attending will, will respect each other in that way. Yeah. 
Amazing. And so um, speaking more towards your talk, then I'd love to know a little bit more about what you're planning on speaking about and why people should join, I uh, should come and join your session at the conference. Um, Carmen, do you mind speaking a little bit um, about that? Yeah, for sure I can do. Thank you, Kat. So we will talk about, uh, first we will start with our, um, to tell you about our agile transformation. We already started some years before. And now we are in the uh, on the way to implement more and more and over the whole community, I would say it in this words, the so called OKR methods, it's the objective and key results. And this is really breaking down the strategy really from highest level to the to the people that they understand and know what is my contribution in the daily business life to this strategy. And this increases transparency and it is really amazing what happens, especially according to transparency to the collaboration, communication between the people over all the hierarchy levels. And um, last but not least, I also, or we also would like to tell you how we scale it up to really the whole, the overall organization and for sure tell you what are, what we think, what are our success factors, but what are also at the end our challenges and next steps to be done. Yeah, amazing. And I appreciate, you know, one thing that you just said that kind of caught my uh, caught my ear was, you know, allowing everyone to understand their contributions. And I think that's something really important and something that can get missed, mm -hmm. um, it, you know, in a lot of in a lot of um, companies and organizations that, you know, on all levels, really understanding where your position is and what you offer to the team. So mm -hmm. that's lovely. Uh, Johan, anything that you would like to add to that or has she done an excellent job so far? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm truly honored to be with Carmen together. She has done an excellent job, but just perhaps to add, to give you a perspective. So we have really a major transformation with over 20,000 people. So it's not a small company that we're trying to transform. And what you will hear from us is, as Carmen said, the successes, but also the challenges. So we will not use it as a promotion show, but really show you what things you might learn from us, what things you we hope you don't repeat from us so that you really get a reality glimpse from what we are doing. Yeah, amazing. And I, and I, you know, going back to why people should join the conference, the opportunity to learn from each other's experiences and, mm -hmm. you know, uh, mistakes and opportunities and challenges that you've come across and really share that with the community. So love that. Amazing. Well, I'm looking forward to it. I hope everyone that's listening will be looking forward to your, to your session as well. Um, to quickly wrap up here, um, uh, this is a bit more maybe of a personal question rather than a professional question. And uh, uh, Johan, I'll let you go first. What are you most looking forward to after COVID has started to settle down? Um, it's really the social interaction, uh, joining people and travel, because to be very honest, Carmen and me really had it on the plan to visit London as well. <laughs> so that's definitely the travel part is what I really miss and which I will enjoy afterwards. Yeah, good. Well, I hope that for next year, we can do another live conference and actually see everybody. And I'm a big hugger. So, you know, give everybody a hug because there's so many people that I've met over the last year that I've never actually seen face to face unless it's through mm -hmm. the computer. So I completely agree with that. And um, Carmen, how about for you? What are you looking forward to? So nearly the same, what you already <laughs> said, Kat and Jochen. And I also looking really forward to meet my friends, to give them a hug. That's what you already said. This is really what I'm missing. And also for sure to meet my team and my colleagues. This is also something I'm really missing. And that's one point I would like to add is, and I'm also really striving for visiting cultural events, like mm. concerts or something in a theater or also just only in the cinema. This is really something I'm now really missing. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, the little, the little things that we never really thought that we would miss or not have the opportunity to do, you know, um, in England, um, just this week on Monday, the pubs opened up for outdoor seating. And I, I almost teared up with the pint in my hand because I, you know, I just didn't even consider before COVID that I wouldn't have the opportunity to sit at a table with a beer and a friend. Um, you know, mm -hmm. so I really, I, I won't take that for granted anymore. And I completely agree with you, Carmen. <laughs> and to be honest, I told my husband, as uh, soon as uh, the beer garden in Germany is open, I will go there. Nevertheless, how cold it is outside. I yes. will go there and I will be there. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> 
Amazing. Well, thank you both so much for your time. I really appreciate you being here and sharing your experiences and what you're looking forward to at the conference and what your talk's going to be about. And I really look forward to, to joining you on the day of the conference. And I hope everyone listening uh, does as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you Perfect. very much. Thank you, Kat, also for the great organization. And we are really looking forward for this conference. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs>